All right, I messed up the first time. I'm going to try this again. Uh, these are a particular size in their particular style that I've designated to one uh, display bin, if you will, a place where I keep them. Just a great look at some artifacts that we're going to take a look at. And for those of you who are fairly new turned in, uh, tuned in, uh, of course, I've only been collecting about five years. So uh, this style and size are the best that I've found in, in the short time I've, I've been able to find stuff here in Eastern North Carolina. We're going to take a look at those. But they came from here. This one bin on the outside top. Top shelf. Oh, there's one there that I didn't take out. So that's my opening. Just some great looking stuff right here that we're going to take a closer look at. I mean, phenomenal stuff. So I'm excited about that. Before we do, I want to do a flyby for you. For those who are new to tune, tune in and just go in slow-mo if I can. To let you take a look at uh, my top shelf stuff that I keep this way. And there's more in here as you can see. So without touching it, just to give you a real close-up. And you can go to my display series and we unfold some of this stuff. But uh, it's fun to see. Some really great pieces just in a nice resting place. Sort of hide and seek type of stuff. It's almost like a hunt if you go in here just to find a piece, enjoy it. Something you found that was sort of hidden. A look that no one gets to see. And you know, with our relatives and what have you, sometimes your own family members aren't real interested. Which is fine. Been in Marl Mountains. Do this before we check out those other pieces. There's some great pieces in here. You can see the variated have found their home in here. All these in the box are here for a real particular and unique reason. Some crystal stuff in there. It's hard to see the difference in all this quartz. A bin full of quartz. And it might look a little full, but there is a lot of room. There's a lot of room. If we jump down, we jump right down to the sugar quartz. I'm working with a new camera, so I'm really checking to see if I can do stuff on the move with my focus. course little home for drills as you can see some fun stuff moving over some thumb scrapers that I felt particularly attached to and just keep and as you can see there is a, there is a reason to the rhyme and the way these are stored and why I put things in certain particular bins What's neat about a flyover like this, and this might make the video I might have to make too, is that uh, you catch a glimpse, just like if you're hunting, of a point there or there, or here or there. And with that glimpse you catch, whether it's in the ground or you've already saved it, you have to investigate to see what you're looking at, what piece of stone or what have you. And I've done some of these sometimes, but I know there's a lot of new people out there that make comments and tune into Indian Trace. I put the phone right down in there now. Done it before, just a little bit if I can figure out this thing and it doesn't mess up on me with the focus. I can't even get my head in where I'm holding it now. I'm hoping it's coming out just to give you a good idea. Pretty much as a mouse would see it. Every piece to me, almost pristine. 
absolutely good reasons why I just decided I would put it in my display and for the future or what have you be able to keep them. God knows what's going to happen with all of them. There we go. As I pan back out here. That's fun stuff. Yeah, it's looking like uh, I'm going to have to Looking at a bin of Guilford's that I'm going to have to do two videos. And I haven't really done a slow flyby just for glimpses in a long, long time. More than a year. But there's layers here. There's a lot of great stuff. A whole row of Guilford's there. I hope everybody's doing good in the holidays and you're doing your best to stay healthy and strong. And if you're not, well, God's best for you. I hope he sustains you or restores your health. And he can. I've seen miracles. But we all also know loved ones who are suffering, who had to fight sickness and disease. I'm telling you what, I, I hate sickness and disease. It's hurt so many of our loved ones and everything, and uh, we just have to do our best to support people. And uh, this holiday, let's do our best to do that. You can see the different sizes here. Some of these bins are housed 25, 30, just pristine points. Materials you're seeing predominantly, of course, rhyolite and quartz here. What's the rhyme and reason of a box like this, though? This is where I keep pieces that I just can't let go. They're just awesome to me. Sometimes I'll go through and harvest a bunch and pass them on, but it stays pretty full with about 800 uh, artifacts. Majority, of course. Are almost perfect. There's, of course, lots of nicks and dings in some of them, but that's just the way it goes. There's being a small Guilford's there. Look closely at this box. I see my time, see? As we float through all this stuff, this stuff is just uh, crazy, nice. And so I guess I'm making a couple, but I might not even make another video till Christmas or after. It really depends and don't know about how much rain will come in. That really makes the difference, the water. Now we go on to some real small quartz pieces here. We've looked at them all. For some of you that are really faithful here on Indian Trace, and uh, for some of you who are new, you just haven't seen them all, go back in time, check out some of the videos. Uh, they will host many of these points you see. And the way they're resting, safe now. They're not going to be shredded up in a blender, 20,000 pound blender. No more. I can do my best to get out there and save them, which was really great. A bin of serrated quartz pieces. Well, I didn't get to those other ones, so I'm going to have to try to do something about it. All in all, I can sure finish with it. And I don't have to even feature anything else about it. Just to get a view of just an incredible piece. Appreciate you tuning in, Indian Trace.